Hello, thank you for clicking on this tutorial on how to figure out what level to put your child in for starfish swim lessons. Uh, we know this is a little more challenging right now during the Fred Ender Pool reopening uh, because we're not able to swim test your child. So we're really counting on you as parents who hang out with your children and spend time with them to do this quick assessment and follow the parent guide available on this page. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna share my screen with you and walk you through the process. So um, here on the swim lesson webpage, you'll see that starlet, the starfish below, if you click on that, that pops us up to the parent guide. It talks about starfish swimming, uh, the program we use at Friend at Dirt Pool to teach swim lessons. And if you scroll down here, you'll see there's three types of swim schools. Star babies and star tots is for our very littles, our starfish swim school, which starts from ages four and up. And then our starfish stroke school for our more advanced swimmers for skill refinement and, and building that endurance for swimming. So we have a lot of options in here and it can be confusing because each school has uh, the same color tier. So you're going to want to read through this and kind of get yourself familiar with it. So what I'd like to go through, we're going to start with starfish swim school. Um, what I like to do when I'm assessing it for a uh, for myself, uh, for my child, and for helping other people is to really look at the swim skill section of it. So you can see right here for white and tadpole, it's about trust and submersion. So the swim skill that is taught in this level is being able to go underwater, relaxed for five seconds, and then come up to breath. Okay, that's really important, that relaxed component of that. So say your swimmer, your child is really good with that, then you go to the next level. Uh, swim skill taught in this level is the child can jump in, be submerged, recover for air, roll on the back, float for five seconds and feel more comfortable in the water. And you were at the river this last summer and you're like, my child's got that. We come down to the next level yellow. We're going to look at that swim skill there. Your child can jump in, be submerged, come up, recover for air, and then can move forward with any kind of stroke or movement for about approximately 10 feet, change direction, and return to the wall. So if your child can demonstrate those skills, then you want to go back down to the next level. For example, this one says blue and it can jump in, be submerged, recover to side and glide position and kick for 10 feet. And you're, and if your child, you're like, mm, no, I'm not certain that my child can do that. Then you're going to double check and make sure that they can do the swim skill in yellow. And if they can, then you realize blue or por porpoise, it's also called porpoise, is the level to sign your child up for. We understand that you are not a swim instructor either. This is just your best guess. And this is where I remind you that our swim lesson classes are going to be smaller because of capacity in the pool. But what that also does, it allows our swim instructors to modify those lessons to fit your child's needs a little bit because the lessons are smaller. Um, so please do your best guess um, and look over that guide, come in, register, and know that our team is going to work with you the best we can. Also know if that level is not open for this three week period, we will be continuing on and providing our next three week lesson and there's an opportunity for you to leave your information, your contact information at City Hall, or you can call and let uh, you can call and let the aquatic supervisor know. One other way to be able to have access to that information and to get on the mailing list, if you go to the uh, website again over here in the left hand side, there is a pool updates mailing list. If you click on that, and provide your information, you will get updates as they come available. We are doing a newsletter for the pool because our services will change as we move through the tiers to less restrictive. We'll also put notifications out when the next swim lesson is 
lesson schedule is available. And we really hope this is a tool to stay engaged with you and provide you the information you need. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any other questions, please email or call our aquatics team. Their contact information is on that swim lesson page. And we're really excited to get your family back in the pool. Thank you. Oh, that was good.